Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today we're going to be doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising signs as well as the cross watcher of the Scorpio. And we're going to get right into it today with some Black Moon Astrology cards. They're calling your name, so we're going to see what energies we have for Scorpio for the month of October. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Don't stretch it to fit. Take what works and leave the rest. And definitely feel free to check out your other sign placements as well. So the first card coming out for you guys is the Grand Trine. Blessings. So that's beautiful. You guys have some really positive energies coming your way. Let's, uh, I actually, I want to clarify the Blessings card with a couple, with a couple uh, tarot here. So we're going to see what are some of these Blessings that are heading Scorpio's way for the month of October. What blessings are heading Scorpio's way? Woo, you guys. We got the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is like, the, you guys are hitting the jackpot. Whatever is going on, this is incredible energy. I can't, I could not, I don't think there, there aren't many cards that are better than that to come out together for this. You guys something i feel i feel like this isn't even necessarily for all of you something that you constantly i mean you did manifest it but you may not have been consciously this may just come out of left field like some kind of like some kind of blessing or i'm not necessarily saying you like you guys are going to win the lottery but it's going to feel like you did whatever happened it's going to bring you that type of en of enjoyment and it's possibly going to be something that takes you guys completely by surprise but i feel as though it is almost like like a like a karmic reward for you guys this is really interesting anything else whoo ten of cups <laughs> Oh my God. Wow. Your, your cups runneth over from the nine of cups to the 10 of cups. This is like, I feel like just as soon as you think that it can't get any better, it's going to get even better. Whatever, however this relates. I mean, spirit isn't unnecessarily. Okay. We got the, we got the six of pentacles here. This is even give and take. This is reciprocity. This is an even exchange of energy. This is, but I'm feeling this in relation to all of these cards as for some of you guys, this is like an inheritance coming through for some of you guys. This is, it's definitely cause I'm being drawn to the scales here on this six of pentacles card. So it's sort of like, it is like a karmic reward, a karmic blessing, something that's just, this is something that's just given to you. This isn't necessarily like you worked for it in terms of like you've done your spiritual work. You may have earned this over lifetimes, right? This is this is energy being returned to you, right? So you did it, but maybe not in the way of like, it's definitely not in the way of like, I toiled away at this for years and years and years and anything like that. It's like, this is just boom, right out of left field. This just, this windfall of abundance in whatever ways, like the, the cups are emotional energy too. So for some of you guys, this may be, it's like also abundance on, on an emotional level, but then we got the 10 of pentacles coming out as well right so they want they want to confirm this is also this is this is monies probably this is abundance in all aspects of in every single manner that you can think this is this is absolute and complete abundance and we have the nine of swords in the bottom of the deck so don't get stuck in that energy don't get don't don't be stuck in this stressful energy like this is a guarantee that like you have nothing to stress out about or worry about right now this is this is incredible i am so excited for you guys right now let's see what other energies we have for scorpio scorpio october 2020 pluto transformation death and rebirth fascinating let's get some more and pisces i believe 
So I feel for some of you guys, like this has been a really deep spiritual process that you've been undergoing over whatever period of time here. You've had to really dig deep. You've had to look and do some, some, some heavy shadow work, right? Really address some of these. I feel like for a lot, for some of you guys, this is like, um, work that you've done around your belief systems are really looking into those and understanding those and transcending those belief systems that no longer serve you anymore. And as you were able to do this and, and build your faith in yourself, build your faith in spirit, right? In the, the, the wide, vast variety of potentials of the universe and how to utilize that energy. Like you guys have really, it's, as you've explored those shadow aspects and the aspects of yourself subconscious, you're now able to manifest at a rate that's like rapid fire. And you're not even, there's so much in the queue that that's why like as this starts coming through, you may have not even fully, you, there's stuff that you may have forgot that you were trying to manifest. There's stuff that is just being drawn to you because of your vibration. There's stuff that's coming to you as karmic repayment, just in every single way, in every single meaning of the word, it's just like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and it all has to do with this transformation of your belief systems, the spiritual, the spiritual transformation that you guys have gone through. This it's like rewards for having the courage to dig deep within the depths of your own psyche and to reveal what was what was what was existing there. And this is Pisces, so this is collective energy too. So this is like transformation on a collective level. And Something about that energy, something about understanding that energy, that collective energy and utilizing and tapping into that. I feel like you guys are doing all kinds of like crazy shamanic, like just intense spiritual work, right? And yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's working for you guys. It's paying off. This is, this is absolutely, this is absolutely beautiful. And then we have Yaw Destiny. So this, as you're opening up into this new, into this new phase of your lives, like destined and fated, this is like, this is, you know, this is destiny, right? The wheel of fortune, destined and fated events are going, are going to begin unfolding. The synchronicities that you guys are going to begin to see are going to be off the charts. It's like you are going to have this incredible connection with your own spirit, with your own gu your guides, your internal guidance system, and you are going to know and be able to see. It's almost like I feel for some of you guys, it's like you're going to be in this process of beginning to see things unfold before they even happen and really getting into the sink and in the flow with that. And you're just going to be drawing connections into your lives, beneficial connections, right? That's another thing I was feeling with this energy, those beneficial connections, people that want to support you, people that want to help you make your dreams a reality, people that believe in you, right? And it's, yeah, you guys, you are, you are very much on a path towards towards the highest the highest expression and evolution of your destiny this is so exciting and it's going to be it's going to manifest in practical ways right that's that capricorn i use energy in practical ways you are going to be you are going to have this is like success this is ambition this is notoriety you guys are going to be in the spotlight in a way but like really yeah, just mastering, mastering your physical reality, but you're mastering your physical reality because you've mastered your inner reality. And so everything else is unfolding like that. And then we have the South Node come out with the Sun card. And so this is transcendence as well, transcendence of the ego, right? We have the sun, which is the spirit. It's also our consciousness, right? And the south node, which is the past life energy. So really moving into a whole new level of consciousness out of these, this, these old levels of consciousness and into this, this whole new level of consciousness and understanding. And the sun is also a card of illumination, right? These breakthroughs these 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 under these deeper understandings 
and really no longer being defined by the past in any way, shape, or form. Like your past is not defining you and you are you are moving into an, an energy that is all your own, an energy that is like an unchartered energy. And so if there are any vestiges of any of that past energy, any old resentments, any of those old belief systems and patterns that you guys are working through and trying to release right now, do that. Continue that work. That work will be rewarded and there is so much waiting for you on the other side of that. If you would like assistance with that, I do personal readings. I do incredibly powerful energy healing sessions which can help to help to move through some of these energies, help to release some of this old programming. Everything, it's all ready to go right now. It's all ready to be shed so that you can step into this next phase of your growth and really just blossom like your spiritual life your life in all ways shapes and forms is ready to bloom and to blossom and you are ready to shine that's what with this sun card it's like you are absolutely ready to shine too many cards okay yes we have destiny right this is a wheel of fortune again holy shit you guys and and movements choices and decisions lots of options lots of different options being being presented to you and you get to choose which option and none of those options are wrong all of those options provide something valuable you can see that too with notice this card all these different versions of her this is like all the different parallel timelines all the different realities right which are all destined and faded it's we get to choose we have we have an ultimate we have a destiny right we do have a destiny that our soul wishes to fulfill but there's so many different ways that we can fulfill that and so many different things that that can look like and that's our free will is our ability to decide how we want to fulfill our destiny but whatever path you choose whatever timeline i feel as though you guys are going to be blessed with this vision that's going to allow you to sort of almost like sift through those timelines in your mind and choose the one that's the most fortuitous to move toward <clears throat> it's a really interesting energy that i'm feeling for you guys and then ooh, we have we have power and spiritual union so this would be the strength card and the two of cups if we were doing the traditional tarot deck so i absolutely see that that coming through for you guys as well i feel this with the strength card this is like this is incredible it's power but it's also wisdom you guys are receiving this massive upgrade <clears throat> this is like the shaman right it's like half lion half shaman energy so that's that's intense that's powerful that's the energy that you guys are moving into and there is this union energy as well you are unifying all aspects of the self like from all different timelines all different 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 incarnations of your soul you are unifying and pulling in Ooh, my body's getting hot while i'm saying this all of those energies right and as you do that, and as you stand fully in your soul's power, you are coming into union within, full union within yourselves. And as you are doing that, you are also drawing in this union, possibly with another as well. Mm. And then it's interesting because we have the Seven of Swords coming out with the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment and Deceit and Envy. So that's really interesting. Let's get a couple more cards about that. What is this uh, Deception and Envy card about? And so we have... We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant, which is interesting. So this is like someone who's single, independent, and flourishing. But then the Hierophant symbolizes commitment. This is also Taurus energy that that symbolizes. And then we have the sun coming out again. That's the sun twice for you guys, which is illumination. This is understanding. I'm feeling this. It's interesting. It's interesting. 
I'm feeling this as illumination, self-illumination right here. Right? This card to me often represents like a spiritual upgrade. And so I'm feeling as though... Hmm. I'm feeling as though there's somebody, possibly, that you were not seeing, you were not seeing clearly, or whose motives you were not, you were not interpreting, you were not able to, to interpret, and getting some clarity and understanding around that. Let's get some more energy here. Yeah, because we have this energy of being single and independent and this, this, this illumination. So I feel like maybe there was, yeah, there was some situation that wasn't presented clearly. There's a, there was a little bit of confusion. There were some things that were hidden. Hmm, let's see. What other energies? What can we do to clear this up? Judgment. The Hermit. Yeah. I feel like for some of you guys, you became single or you, you have been single and sort of on your own, kind of walking your own path for a little while now. Because there was just a lot of bullshit that you didn't want to deal with when it came, came to other people. So you've been on this kind of solitary journey for a little while now. Which has, which has been absolutely necessary to bring you to this point of awakening and understanding where you're able to see situations clearly. Like we're talking about, like you have this incredible vision that you're able to see from now. It's like your psychic abilities have just skyrocketed. So you're able to see and understand at a much greater scope. And you wouldn't have been able to do that if you hadn't spent this time, if you hadn't spent this time on your own. And so whatever situations you encountered with this, this deception, this envy, the seven of swords type energy were necessary to push you to that place of being alone so that you could go through this evolution that ultimately is going to lead to you receiving absolutely everything that you could ever possibly want. Yeah, there's this energy. This conflict energy. This conflict energy that caused this transformation. This is your card, the death card. That caused this pullback, that caused this transformation. And this, this process of alchemy, this process of balance, this process of, yeah, just higher spiritual evolution and learning. And so if you have been in a place where you have been feeling really alone, where you have been isolated, just know that that is coming to an end, but that was absolutely necessary. And there was incredible spiritual growth that had to happen for you and couldn't have happened any other way. All right. Whew. That is, I mean, I don't even know what else to say for you guys right now, except congratulations. Like this is such absolutely fantastic energy. And then you had the, the shadow card on the bottom of the deck. So definitely a lot of that shadow energy that you've been working through. Yeah, definitely a lot of that shadow energy that you guys have been working through. So if it's been intense for you guys for a while, just know that all of that hard work that you've done is about to pay off in a really, really beautiful way. And then we have the temptation card that was trying to pop out there, which would be the devil card. So just watch out for slipping back into old habits and old patterns. Watch out for anything that comes your way. That's That could be another with that seven of swords energy, right? Watch out for anything. Anything 
that threatens to sort of pull you off the path or back into onto an old path that you're not trying to travel anymore. Some of those energies may came, come, come up right before this incredible breakthrough happens just to sort of to kind of test where you're at, to sort of test the waters, to see how much you really have grown and what you have learned and where your power of discernment is at. And so if you're ready for the blessings that are getting ready to come your way. So just be careful of that. I, I heard the energy and I didn't want to say it, but I don't know why. But be careful of anything that seems too good to be true. I mean, and I didn't want to say it because obviously it feels like a lot of this energy that you guys are going to be experiencing is going to feel too good to be true. But like some of this is good, like there's no way, some of these blessings that are coming through, there's like, there's no way to question them because it's just basically being handed to you, right? But there are some situations as well where you just want to, you want to make sure that you're using that discernment. And if you find yourself like you've been really spiritually connected, you've been like on point with your intuition, you felt really confident. And then all of a sudden you're kind of like, there's an off energy and you're not sure what it is or how to navigate it. And you're questioning situations like allow yourselves to question those and to kind of slow down a little bit. Like there's going to be a little bit of that patience required and that navigating and really utilizing and trusting that intuition like you guys Scorpio you guys are incredibly intuitive right and so utilize that to your advantage in certain situations because there may be yeah there may be some of these temptation and this is also coming up the devil card is on top of the six of cups which is memories of love nostalgia and then we have conflict and despair and trapped in fear underneath that. So this may come for some of you guys. And then the Venus card is on the bottom of the deck now. In terms of love, like there may, you may have a former lover or an, an ex of some sort that comes back into your life that brings some of those toxic energies back. And so you want to be... You want to be wary of that and you just want to make sure like if you are letting someone back into your life you want to make sure that their energy feels on point like they feel vibrationally they feel vibrationally different and at a, a complementary vibration to you because they may not be they may be part of that abundance that's manifesting or they may be one of those i hate using the word tests but one of those almost like to test right so, sort of that that weight barometer of the spirit checking to see how much you have grown and what you are ready for if you are willing to accept that if you are willing or able to descend back into these old habits and patterns that weren't serving in the past when this person is presented to you so just be wary of that that's that's be wary of that and then the destiny card popped up again come on come on and the nine of the nine solitude which is the hermit energy kept popping up on the bottom of the deck so he wants to be shown as well so whenever you're feeling confused go back internally take that internal journey again meditate contemplate pull back your energy and recenter yourselves and move from that place of centered awareness I'm so excited for you guys. This reading was incredible. I cannot believe all of the amazing things that are coming your way. If you would like any additional guidance, please reach out to me. My info is in the description box below. I do personal readings, energy healings, like I mentioned, astrological transit charts, a whole bunch of different stuff. There's also a link down below to donate if you feel so moved to do so. It is very much appreciated. Drop a comment if this resonated, if you're excited for this month as you should be. Like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill. All of that really helps the channel and helps this message get out to everyone who needs to hear it, though we always trust that everyone who is meant to find this video will. I love you. I appreciate you. I am so pumped for you. Have an incredible October.